Hi everyone and welcome to Desi Bites. I am Chef Pranav Kapoor and today I'm going to be doing a rose flavored lassi. Just adding a little bit of twist to the everyday lassi that everybody has. And this is not any normal rose lassi, this is a spice rose lassi. Yes, it's correct. So, let's start. First, curd, 250 grams, goes right in. Next, some ice cubes. So this substitutes for water, so you don't really need to add water because you're going to be using ice cubes. Then, my favorite brown sugar, because uh, a lesser known fact is that it's healthier than caster sugar. And now, 60 ml of Ruavza. Yeah. Don't add more than that because it's a very concentrated flavor and it's really, really sweet. If you don't really like sweet stuff, you can skip on adding sugar. I'm still going to add about, I've added five grams of that uh, brown sugar. And I'm going to add two pinches of cinnamon powder. That's really good. Just a little cinnamon on top. cinnamon has just come through fine. Do not forget to like, subscribe and comment in the comment section below and keep watching Desi Bites with me, Chef Pranav for more fun recipes coming your way. See you in another episode. This is going with you. Hi everyone and welcome to Desi Bites. I am Chef Pranav Kapoor and today I'm going to be making a mango lassi. For this, I have taken some mango pulp. If it's the season for mangoes, then you can use fresh mangoes. If not, then there's always mango pulp, and which is about 180 ml of mango pulp, and uh, 250 grams of yogurt, and some ice. Let's not forget that. Let's just get started. It goes to yogurt, it's going to make some noise, and Looks good. And lassi is ready. Pretty simple. Not much to do with this one. If it is the season for mangoes, then you can garnish with some sliced mangoes on top. If you've noticed, I haven't added any sugar because the mango pulp is highly concentrated. So I didn't need any sugar for this. But if you're using fresh mangoes and they aren't sweet enough, do not hesitate to add sugar as per your taste. Ready to serve this. Cheers everyone. Cheers everyone. Do not forget to like, don't forget to comment and do not forget to subscribe to Desi Bites. I will see you in another episode with another fun and easy recipe. See you guys. and welcome to Desi Bites. I am Chef Pranav Kapoor and today I'm going to be making basic cheese omelette. I'm going to make my omelette with three eggs because the more the merrier. Some salt, just basic seasoning. If you want you can add herbs, green chilies, 
and this is some white pepper and now grated cheddar I'm just going to mix some in it and some I'll put when the omelet is being cooked so it will be double cheese to beat the eggs nicely some olive oil in the pan let the oil heat a little bit in the pan for about half a minute on medium high flame and I'm going to pour my egg mixture and what I'm going to do is now I'm going to add some cheese on top as well so it melts in with the egg if you're adding a lot of cheese, make sure you don't put a lot of salt because cheese itself has salt and then your omelet will end up being extra salty and you don't want that. As you can see, I've used a little deep dish so that the omelet gets a little thick and fluffy. Cook this for maximum 5 minutes, you'll see it, you'll see it. Once the bottom is cooking and the layer on top gets nicely cooked and the cheese melts, I've switched off the heat and now I'm just going to let it rest for about half a minute to 45 seconds so that it cooks through. It already has at the bottom, just letting the cheese probably melt on top and it being just slightly runny on the top as a classic French omelette. As you can see, it's slightly runny but not raw. The cheese has blended in with the egg just fine. classic cheese omelette. As you can see, it's got a nice toasted color. The perfect breakfast and a good consistency. It's nice and fluffy as well. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to like, subscribe and comment to Desi Bites with me, Chef Sanav. I will see you in another fun episode with another fun recipe. Till then, you take care. See you. Hi everyone and welcome to Desi Bites. I am Chef Pranav Kapoor and today I'm going to be making a berry smoothie. For which I have with me, this is berry syrup with berries inside it. 60 ml of strawberry syrup. Take about 200 grams of yogurt ice and I'm just going to add about 5 grams of caster sugar so for the berry smoothie we'll use a little fancy glass using a margarita glass Berry smoothie served. A nice, healthy berry breakfast. Oh, yeah, this is my favorite. Do not forget to like, don't forget to comment. Do not forget to subscribe to Desi Bites. I am Chef Pranav and I say that I will see you in another episode. Hi, hello, what's up everyone and welcome to Desi Bites. The festival of Holi is right around the corner and for that we have a kick-ass dessert which is Kesar Rabdi. For this, first our hot plate to be on. We'll take a liter of milk, one full liter in the pan. Now the basic thing for rabri is, if you're taking a liter, you have to reduce it by half over a period of 40 to 45 minutes. So this is a little trick that has been taught to me by my chef in college. So while you're making rabri, all you can do is put a wooden spoon while the milk is boiling, which will prevent the milk to touch the bottom of the pan. So you also have to constantly keep stirring, so don't forget to do that. And basically your milk has to start simmering. So keep on uh, stirring 
the milk in a clockwise motion. And once your milk has started simmering, before it reaches the boiling point, you reduce the heat to a minimum and then let the milk reduce for a good 40 to 45 minutes to get the right consistency for a Okay guys, the milk has reduced. So right now, even if it seems a little too thin, if don't worry about uh, the consistency because once it cools down, it will become thicker. Okay, now to this, I'm going to add sugar. Please add sugar according to taste. And now I'm just going to add a touch of saffron essence in the rabli. And now in this, you can add cardamom if you want, you can add almonds, if you want to add pistachios, you could do that. Make your own little variation. And this is ready. So just going to let it cool down a little bit. Keep stirring it, take it off the thing, keep stirring it a little bit. Let it cool down and then we'll transfer it to the bowl. And now, we're going to garnish this with some saffron on top. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to try this at home and also don't forget to play a safe and have a happy holy all of you. See you guys. Hi everyone and welcome to Desi Bites. Today I'm going to be making a yogurt dip. It's a very simple process, so I don't want to waste any more time talking. Let's just get straight to making this yogurt dip. First, open a box of yogurt. Now, I'm just going to turn this around so it becomes smooth. So you can pass this through a sieve as well, but if you really want to save time, then just do what I'm doing. This will literally take Three minutes to make. Now, in goes some ginger garlic paste. Now, I will put in just a little bit of mustard, so very little. And the seasoning, very important. All of that is going in it. Some chili paste, so you can add as much as spice that you can handle. And some more spice to it, some Tabasco. Salt. Some white pepper. Now I'm just going to mix all of this together. Yep, and you can serve this with some chips. Perfect party dip, very easy to make and absolutely delicious. So guys, make sure you try this easy dip at home. It is really simple as you've seen. Don't forget to like, don't forget to comment and don't forget to subscribe to Desi Bites with me, Chef Pranav. I will see you in another fun episode with another easy recipe. Till then, you take care.
Hi everyone and welcome to Desi Bites. Happy Holi guys. It's Holi and what happens on Holi? We all drink bang. So this is the episode where I teach you how to make the perfect thandai for a perfect Holi. Pistachios. Some almonds. some cashews some walnut now to this i'm going to add a little bit of milk and just that much so that it blends some more milk is going to go in so that it's properly grinded Yeah. So once that is done, it doesn't really have to be properly fine. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this thandai syrup. And now our final and the most important ingredient is holi, which is bhang. So please be cautious while you add this nasty nasty ingredient because the more you add the happier your holi will be or not we don't know you can't tell so just be very careful while handling this stuff wow that's really strong i think i'm going to add a little bit of milk ready get set go and i'm hoping this is done smells lovely looks also nice all this needs is some ice and chilling and this drink is ready to be served so now on top of this i'm going to add slivers of almond there you go Okay guys so this is now ready and do try this at home and kids if you're watching this do not try this at home because this is not for you so having said that hope you guys have a great great holi and see you soon in another episode with another easy recipe till then you take care and i will see you soon Hi everyone and welcome to Desi Bites I am chef Pranav Kapoor and today I'm going to be making a jaljeera which is a good for your stomach for a hangover and just generally a very refreshing drink for that I have mint leaf this is my personal take on a jaljeera Throw in mint leaves in the cocktail shaker. We have some chaat masala. We'll throw that in. Two pinches of it. Around 20 ml of lime juice and some crushed cumin or jeera powder. Two pinches of that. Then add some soda. About 100 ml and the same for lemonade. little bit of ice and we are ready to go so guys 
Shake it up a little bit or you can muddle it up in your cocktail shaker. Throw in a few mint leaves for garnish and pour in your What I'm also going to do is I'm going to add some chaat masala on top of it and also a little bit of jeera masala, crushed jeera. Jaljeera, fresh take on it, ready to serve. Mm. Do try this at home and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to Desi Bites. This is me, Chef Pranav, telling you to have a great day ahead. See you. Hi everyone and welcome to Desi Bites. Merry Christmas everybody! So Christmas के लिए dessert बना रहे हम जो काफी easy सी है it's assembled dessert it's a food chain I have done something like that before which is a frozen Alaska so if you haven't seen it check out that video right now link is below and this is another food chain it's called a Christmas morning so this plum cake and slice Plum cake is symbolic for Christmas, which is why I'm using this for my dessert called a Christmas morning. The best part, marshmallows. That is another Christmas tradition. This dessert basically is a Christmas morning. What is a Christmas morning all about? It's presents, it's snow, it's chocolate, it's family time. So this is what it represents for me. So I have plum cake, which is a tradition. I have marshmallows, I have ice cream, and I have chocolate. Now it's time to put it in the oven. Now, on top of this is the snow. This is the Christmas snow. On top of this, I'm going to throw in some more marshmallows. And now I'm just going to put in a little bit of chocolate sauce. Hi everyone and welcome to Desi Bites. Today is a very exciting episode because 
in one episode i'm going to show you three easy and different ways to use mayonnaise first goes mayo goes in the bowl then add in a touch of ketchup and then doses of tabasco and now i'm just going to mix it in quickly dip number 1 is ready moving on to dip number 2 for this take another bowl what you need is mayo some mustard and some honey first what you're going to do is you're going to put in some mustard then to which i'm going to add just like about a teaspoon of honey once the honey and the mustard have mixed in so in your mayonnaise and mix that in that's right and now you've got honey mustard mayonnaise which is dip number 2 honey mustard mayonnaise to the last and the final one for which we will take some boiled chicken so i have here some boiled chicken breast which i am just going to chop up quickly once my chicken is chopped i am keeping all my chicken on this plate all my chicken to which i'm going to add mayonnaise i am adding to this some garlic powder now i'm just going to mix this together the mayo garlic seasoning and the chicken the garlic seasoning that i've added also contains chili and salt so you might want to add that if yours or if your seasoning does not contain those things hmm once this is done i'm going to leave this aside then in a pan i am going to add in chopped onions because i want to caramelize these onions toss this around while the onions are happening i'm going to slice up the bread once the onion starts sweating just add in some balsamic vinegar and add in some sugar Uh, almost caramelized. So now I'm just going to put this off the heat and start the plating. So first on this sliced bread will go in the chicken, mayo, and garlic powder. Once I've added this, I'm just going to throw in some more garlic powder on top for extra flavor. Because remember, we haven't really added salt in this. But then, if you, I didn't want to add salt because I'm adding the garlic powder. But if you feel like the salt is less, please go ahead and add salt and pepper. My garlic seasoning has all of it, which is why I did not add anything on top. On top of that, I'm going to add these caramelized onions. and now on top of this just some parmesan cheese i have given you three easy and different ways to use mayonnaise first up we had the ketchup tabasco mayonnaise dip second up we had the honey mustard mayonnaise dip and the third one we had this little bruschetta with mayo chicken garlic powder caramelized onions and parmesan cheese So hope you enjoyed this video. 
and what this tells you is that don't feel scared to experiment with food it's fine you may not get it right all the time but there's no harm in trying new things on that note we're going to end this episode hope you enjoyed it stay tuned for more desi bites videos coming your way till then like subscribe and comment we'll see you soon in another episode take care It's the holiday season and desserts are running high this time. So let us make a dessert. Today I'm going to be making a Christmas log. I have with me chocolate Oreo cookies, which I am going to mash and powder up. So we'll be assembling the dessert as we go along. You guys can use uh, whatever other tea cakes that you can get at the local uh, grocer. You don't particularly have to get this one. Just get a plain vanilla one, or if not, then get the almond. Cherry. But before that, some caramel sauce into the glass. Now this cake is also going to be powdered. Once this is in, I am going to put some more of Oreo cookie on top of this. So, wondering why this is called a Christmas log? It's called a Christmas log because we sit around the Christmas fire, drinking hot chocolate, eating like caramel, and some more chocolate. And also because this is brown. Now, with that in, I am going to throw in another layer of caramel. Once that in, I am going to put more cake on top. Now and the last topping, just a little bit of Oreo cookies. And the final topping to this dessert, the Christmas log, some Christmas colors of green and red. So it's Santa and his elves. And guys, the dessert Christmas log is ready to serve. Please don't forget to try this at home and don't forget to like, subscribe and comment to Tasty Bites. I will see you in another episode with another new recipe. Till then, wish you all a Merry Christmas and have a fantastic New Year. See you all.